Morning, everyone. Sorry, I was a bit confused then about whether I was live or not. Hopefully you can see me okay. Um, welcome to our notices on the 28th of June. Um, a few notices today. Um, obviously, the key thing that happened last week was that the government announced that from the 4th of July, as we were expecting, um, places of worship will be allowed to open for gatherings for worship. Um, now, the announcement was made last week. The guidance, uh, especially for individual Church of England churches, has still not come out yet, uh, sort of detailing what we can and can't do, how far apart we need to sit and all those sorts of things. Um, so we had a think and a pray about, about what to do. Um, and we've decided that our first Sunday back for Bulbra Church is going to be on Sunday the 26th of July. This is quite a convenient date for us because that will be our that's our patronal festival of St James. So we thought that would be a good day uh, to return to church. Um, so there'll be a united service. So that means there won't be a service at Clown. There'll just be one at Balborough at 10 o'clock on Sunday the 26th of July. And then the following week, there'll be a special service just for Clown at 10 o'clock on the 2nd of August. Um, and again, that will be united service. So there'll just be a service in Clown on the 2nd of August. And then thereafter, we'll return to our usual pattern of a 9.15 and 11 o'clock service on a Sunday. Now, um, we're not going to be going back to normal. Um, it will be very different. Um, we don't know yet how far apart we might need to sit in the church building, but we do know for sure that we won't be allowed to have any communal singing, which obviously is quite disappointing because that's a big part of our gathering on a Sunday. Um, but we will be having some music, um, and trying to create some atmosphere and what we will also do i'm really looking forward to it um we will also bring the paschal candles that i've made um into the churches um so we will sort of be celebrating easter a little bit um when we get back into church so um i'm, I'm looking forward to, to these not being in my study anymore but being in their rightful place in the churches um so that gives us a good month to do all the risk assessments that we have to do to get the churches ready. We are having some repair work done at Clown on the roof and on the interior on the plaster work where it's kind of got damp and started to break away from the wall. That's being repaired this week. So the 2nd of August, that just gives us a bit of wiggle room just in case that job takes a little bit longer than we thought. Um, also what it does, um, of course, I'm sure many of you, myself included, um, from the 4th of July would like to try and visit family that you haven't seen for some time because it, it, within the rules you can stay overnight um, in another family's home. Um, so I'm hoping to go and see my folks um, and I'm sure many of you are perhaps going, going away in your caravans, taking up the holiday uh, that you'd had postponed. So that also gives everybody a bit of time at the beginning of July to do all of those things and not feel like they're going to be missing the first service back in church. So I hope you can understand why we've made that decision. I think it just gives us a little bit of space. Um, and also it does feel a little bit like the advice and the guidance is changing almost on a daily basis. And we don't know whether they might have to have another lockdown um, if, if things go wrong. So this just gives us a bit of a bit of space to make that decision. But one thing to make very clear is that once we do return on a Sunday morning, for for face to face worship together um we will be continuing with other things so we will be continuing with our tuesday evening eucharist on facebook um at seven o'clock that's always recorded and then posted onto youtube afterwards so if you'd rather watch it later in the week you know you could watch it on a wednesday or a thursday um you can do that so we will continue with the online eucharist so there'll always be an online service every week for you to engage with and there will also be, we will carry on with our phone church services on a Thursday morning. Um, we've had two so far, they've gone really well. Um, and it's a really special way of gathering over the phone. It's the closest I've felt to being in church, actually, um, when we do the phone services. So if you haven't been to one yet, maybe give it a go on Thursday morning. Um, you're very welcome. It doesn't matter which one you come to. Um, but you may want to choose to come to the clown one uh, from 9am or the bulb one from 10am but 
but if you you can choose which one um you're very welcome to join any of them um but so we will be continuing with the phone church as well so that means that that once we are back in church on a Sunday, there will still be an option for those who don't quite feel comfortable yet coming back into church. Um, so I hope I hope that works for everybody, um, and we'll keep you posted um, as to the reopening and what the conditions will be around that in terms of using hand sanitizer when you come into church, whether we need to wear masks, all of those things. I'm hoping um, that will come out in the guidance this week, so we've got a little bit of time to just get ourselves ready. For coming back into church um, looking forward to seeing you all um, again today is our last service with Malcolm Pyatt who's been on placement with us since Advent which feels like a very long time ago now um, so what I've done this week um, some of you may have already watched today's Sunday service um, but what I've done this week is instead of a sermon slot um, I've interviewed Malcolm um, about his time with us and about his a little bit about his story so I hope you enjoy that today something slightly different in the service um, but wanted to say a big thank you to Malcolm and we will see perhaps in the summer I'm hoping we might be able to have something like a, a parish picnic or something like that um, to which we could invite Malcolm um, and sort of give him a big thank you um, and wish him all the best for his ordination. So he's going to be licensed next Sunday to the parish of uh, St Michael and All Angels in Brimington. So he'll be licensed as a sort of lay worker until um, it will be permitted for, for an ordination to take place. And the plans at the moment are probably for that to be at, at Michaelmas, which is the end of September. Hopefully um, that will be able to happen. Um, so we wish Malcolm all the best and thank him very much for his time with us. I'm going to miss miss him as a colleague. So um, yes, well done, Malcolm. Thank you for everything you've done. And uh, we wish you all the best for the future. Um, just to remind people um, that if you haven't during lockdown given any money to church, we would be really grateful if you did, um, especially thinking of we would have made quite a bit of money, I think, at the at the festival. Um, Paul just bought me a cup of coffee. Thank you, Paul. Um, we would have we would have probably made about a thousand pounds at the at the clown festival. And of course, we haven't had that festival. So I would just ask if you would consider making a one-off donation in lieu of what you would have spent at our festival um, that would be brilliant um, so you can write a check um, if it's for clown it's it's payable to clown PCC and if it's to St James's it's St James Church Bulbra um, the two bank accounts have different names so just make sure you get the name right um, but we would be really grateful um, if you could make a donation um, the other alternative of course and I've mentioned it a number of times um, is to set up a direct debit um, which means it just gives you peace of mind it's all set up and sorted uh, it automatically claims gift aid we don't have to process it either so it, it makes everybody's life easier um, so if you wouldn't mind setting up a direct debit um, to pay either on a yearly or a monthly basis um, if you ring this phone number here um, you can get through and set it up it takes about 15 minutes over the phone uh, so I just encourage you to think about the financial health of our churches because of course um, our incomes plummeted over this period um, so thank you for that we will be meeting as usual on zoom um, at 11 o'clock um, to catch up you can you can get through to Zoom. If you have a bad internet connection, you can actually join a Zoom meeting by telephone. If you go to the link here, um, so bcjj.org.uk forward slash Zoom, um, you can get through um, to, the, to the meeting um, by dialing in. And the information about how to do that is there. So you dial a number and then you input a code in your phone and then you can join the conversation. It's just that we will see a little blank picture with your name on it. Um, and you, obviously you won't be able to see us, but you'll be able to hear the conversation and join in. So some of you might might like to try dialing in and seeing if that works for you. Um, but hopefully I'll see some of you at 11 o'clock and we can have a bit of a catch up about how the week's been. Um, and that should be great. So um, if you haven't already watched it, if you head over now to our church website or to YouTube, um, you'll be able to watch uh, today's service and um, if any of you have any concerns about anything that I've raised um, happy to receive emails from people just uh, sharing thoughts and ideas about reopening um, obviously I'm just waiting at the moment for 
clear guidance from from the Church of England as to what we can and can't do uh, before we make any big decisions. Um, but otherwise, I hope you have a good week. Um, we will obviously in the run up to the 26th of July, which will be the first service back, we will continue in the current pattern. So there'll be um, an online service on Sundays as usual. So we'll keep this going until we're back in church on Sunday, the 26th of July. Great. Enjoy today's service and hopefully I'll see some of you at 11 o'clock on Zoom. Take care, everybody. Bye.